We're with Dockers manager Adam Woodward after a 2-1 win against Holmes now in difficult conditions tonight. A good three points, would he? Yep. Um, I think it's about chalking them off and we've come again and we've chalked them off. Obviously, um, we've got a few games in hand. And look, I felt, to be honest, the game was was a bit scrappy. We looked like a team that we knew we had a final on Friday. Look, it's outrageous we're playing tonight. It is outrageous whether people like it or not and people might not like that comment. But it is what it is. Corinthians have had a week's rest. We've had none. A high-pressure game again because we have to win to keep in the playoffs. But it's fine. We'll keep rolling with the punches. And boys took a bit of time to get going. But when we did, it was it was good. We had a good 15, 20 minutes middle first half and a good 20 minutes middle second half. And I thought we dominated second half. Let's see the one in at the end. But look, it's three points. That's all that matters. Took a while to get that first chance. And then when you did, it's terrific save by Lincoln. Fantastic save by North EM. Look. He had a little bit of a bad time when we played him at their place. And I thought, if I'm honest, he was probably man of the match tonight. Made some outstanding saves. But, listen, we had another one and Harry, Harry doesn't need two or three. He usually gets them in after one or two and he did tonight. So, that was good to obviously him to get the, uh, the goal the next chance he had. The schedule necessitated changes tonight, which you made. Jack Holland back for it. Yep, Jack Holland's back and there'll be changes on Friday as well. Look, Friday is, is not is not at the top of my list. Playoffs are. So, Scaffold, Challenge Cup is bottom of the list. It's, that's the brutal honesty of about it. If people want to know the truth, there'll be changes Friday. There'll be some people going, wow, why is he not playing? I've got no no reason to put players at risk because it is at risk at the moment. We've got three games in six days and that's a big risk. And players' welfare needs to be taken into account. And I've got players crawling off pitches. So, Friday, look, I'm not here to look after the Scaffold League and 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 worry about their cup final. I'm worried about here if Tan and playoff chances, and that's the main objective of this season. Bradley Ryan had his first uh, start tonight, but you've also brought in Sayo Blackwood. Yep, need to add to the squad because we just keep getting games thrown at us. So, um, like I said, three games in six days. I think we'll have, we've got three or four who can't play Friday. So that'll freshen us up, hopefully, for Monday. But, yeah, it's just, look, I am a little bit upset about the schedule. I am, and I'm not going to lie about it. There's a reason why we're not playing on the Saturday for the last game of the season and being made to play Tuesday, Thursday and the high-pressure games we've got going on. There's a lot going on away from the football club with other teams and we've got games that have been um, abandoned and things like that that we're waiting four or five months down the line to find out what's going on. So things like that need to be sorted and it's, it's something that needs to be cleared up. But... Look, we just go into Friday and recover the best we can. There'll be a few changes, a few under twenty threes will be involved with us. Um, a few people have been told they're going to be left out squads, and we've got big game. Rustall Monday is a massive game. Friday is just a bonus, but Monday is the game we're looking forward to and the one we need to win. And again tonight, in horrible conditions, over a hundred people here again tonight. Yep, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. The local community are really supporting us. We're eating over hundred every game, which is great. So um, I don't think anyone from the local area, to the community can argue with that. We've got a football club bringing in three-figure crowds, which is good. And it's what this area needs. It needs a football team that's bringing in three-figure crowds. We've done it. We've been doing it all season. So look, there's a lot going on away from the football club, away from the first team. We've got to mention that the under-23s have played tonight. Obviously, that we've got the 18s doing. We've got hopefully more um, sides coming in next year. So people are working tirelessly behind the scenes so we just got to make sure Friday will be a good day out for the club but Monday's the one that's important well done tonight good luck for Monday thank you